The board at Heart of Midlothian has warned the club could go out of existence next week unless supporters help it meet an unpaid tax bill of £450,000. HM Revenue and Customs has issued a winding up order against the club. And if an agreement can't be reached, Hearts could follow Rangers into administration or liquidation. Well, for the latest, live now to our chief reporter, David Cowan, who's outside Tynecastle for us tonight. Dave. This is not the first time that Hearts have faced a winding up order over an unpaid tax bill, but in the past they were able to reach an agreement on a payment plan. This time, though, sources at the club are telling us that the money simply isn't there, and if a solution isn't found, a liquidator could be appointed this time next week. Hence that appeal to Hearts fans to come to their club's aid. Just months after one of its finest hours, Heart of Midlothian is facing the darkest period in its long history. Its opponent is the taxman, who's gone to court seeking to wind up the club over an unpaid bill of £449,000. The Hearts board says it will have money coming in through forthcoming games and transfer and broadcast income. But an open letter asking supporters to put money into the club has a desperate tone. The board said... Without the support of fans, there is a real risk that Heart of Midlothian Football Club could play its last game next Saturday against St Mirren. This isn't a bluff, this isn't scaremongering, this is reality. We could be entering the final days of the club's existence. The board has asked fans to invest in the share issue and buy tickets for three upcoming games. Sources at Tynecastle say they haven't received any money from parent company Ubig since February. A prominent supporter held out the hope of a takeover. Mr Romanoff has indicated that he wants to get out of ownership, preferably by next summer. Uh, I believe that there are people who are now really so aware of the urgency of the situation that at last they're stirring and considering whether or not they might get involved. And that's uh, a glimmer of hope without raising hopes too high. We're all brought up with them here and it's... it's we, we, we need hearts here, eh? I feel Mr Romanoff's let the fans down and uh, something should be done about it. Bad for the, the derby, that's for sure. Definitely miss Hearts and Hibs games, eh? The board called their appeal for emergency backing a call to arms. Undoubtedly, fans will respond. The question is, will enough money arrive in time to save this famous club? Well, there's very little optimism here that a payment plan uh, can be agreed. In fact, people are saying the best possible solution uh, might be for Hearts to go into voluntary administration, which is, of course, uh, what's happened at Rangers initially. Tonight, the Scottish Government issued a statement. It's promised to do all it can to help, including approaching the HMRC uh, if necessary. Perhaps it's worth pointing out uh, that this club does have friends in high places. The First Minister, Alex Salmond, is a Hearts fan. Back to you. OK, David, thank you very much. And apologies, uh, you may have noticed we've been having some technical issues tonight. Good evening, and we are live from Tynecastle tonight as Hearts warn fans that unless the club receives a financial backing, a substantial financial backing, the club will play its last game in 10 days' time. As you heard at the top of our programme, Hearts have been issued with a winding up order by Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs over unpaid taxes amounting to around £450,000. This, of course, is entirely separate to another tax bill of £1.75 million which Hearts are already challenging at a tax tribunal. Well, earlier today we spoke to former club chairman Leslie Deans to ask his thoughts on the day's developments. Speaking as a supporter of Hearts, a lifelong supporter, I was absolutely devastated to see this uh, announced on the website today. Um, I sincerely hope there is a way around this. Um, the tax man has to be paid. We all accept that. Um, but what seems to be the case is that this is a timing issue. Hearts are saying, look, the money will be there from future games to come, in particular the televised game, the cup tie, uh, at the start of next month, uh, from transfer revenues that have to come in. Um, so Hearts are saying to the taxman, look, give us a bit of time. Uh, I hope the taxman will do that because the consequences simply don't bear thinking about. We, we all should be in no doubt about it that even if we get over this issue, and I sincerely hope that we do, um, the financial situation is bad. It's bad for Scottish football as a whole, 
um, having already lost one of our major clubs from the Premier League to the third division in Rangers, the last thing Scottish football needs is one of its other major clubs going the same way. Well, STV understands that the club have notified the Scottish Premier League over the developments and the SPL are understood to be monitoring the situation. Well, for a look at